What if Deku was in the Dino Squad Part 4? Now before I get into this what if, there is another thing that I forgot to mention because I'm a total noob at this what if stuff. I forgot to mention Izuku's personality in my what ifs. So like, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, fix that right now and you know, like from now on, I'm gonna be telling you guys everything there is to know about Izuku. Okay, so Izuku will, Izuku's personality will be like in canon in what if Deku was in the Dino Squad. The only difference is he's going to have character development just a bit faster. And you'll see, and you'll see why in just a minute. And you know, that's it. Without any further ado, this is What If Deku Was In The Dino Squad, Part 4. Where we last left off, Izuku was introduced to Max and Roger. They both vowed to train Izuku on how to use his full dino form and, his, and understand his dinosaur powers. After a month goes by, Izuku is meditating on top of a fridge and changing in and out of his first dino form. One day, Izuku walks to the beach and spots a girl she is making some garbage float by touching them. It looks like she has everything under control until she tries to float a refrigerator twice her size. Izuku notices her struggle look on her face to make the fridge float. Izuku then makes his way to the girl and tries to ask her if she is alright. Izuku was getting closer to the girl, then had... <laughs> I'm sorry get closer to the girl then had a sick look on her face as if she was about to vomit Izuku stops because the girl then did vomit the girl then notices Izuku and tries to regain her composure she puts her hand on her mouth in a way to stop in a way of stopping the vomiting from continuing as as she was wiping her lips dry, she accidentally touches ten of her fingers together and the trash that was floating above her then begins to fall near her. <laughs> Sorry about that. The garbage then starts to fall near her. Izuku wastes no time and go Izuku wastes no time and then goes into his first dino form and then uses his dino speed to get to the girl. Out of, to get the girl out of danger. He uses... <laughs> he runs towards the girl and picks her up off her feet and runs before the fridge lands on both of them. From metal trash cans nearly falling on them to microwaves, to old filing cabinets, to drawers, to old furnitures, and, a, and after a few seconds of madness, it ends. And Izuku puts the girl down and gives out a breath of relief. Izuku, being exhausted from all the running, says... Are you alright? The girl is standing in is <laughs> the girl is staring into space out of shock from what just happened. Izuku then waves his hands in front of the girl's face and it breaks her out of it. She then shakes her head and says, Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for saving me, says Uraraka. <laughs> says well in this case says the girl, we don't know her name yet. Izuku says it's no problem. After a couple of seconds of breathing, the girl that introduces herself, I'm Ochako Uraraka. I'm Izuku Midoriya. After hearing that name, Uraraka then said, wait, I know that name. That means you're that one guy that changed into a dinosaur. I saw that video like a hundred times. It's so cool how you did that intro when you appeared from that sludge. Izuku is a bit embarrassed, but is appreciative of the kind gesture. Izuku, while blushing, says, Oh, well, it was, it, it just happened. Um, Izuku st st continuously stutters, just like me. I had, I had no control of that. Uraraka then says, Ooh, can I see your dinosaur, please? Izuku is blushing even more as she gets closer and closer to Izuku's face. Izuku then says, oh, well, I can't because I'm still in training, so maybe when I'm better at it, I'll show you when the time is right. Well, Rocket then backs up and says, oh. 
Uruk. <laughs> Uruk then says, but you gotta admit, it's still pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I know, says Izuku, while a shaky tone in his voice. They both then carry on a conversation about what they want to do, their quirks, and what school they're going to do after middle school. Little Rocket says, oh really? You're going to try out for UA too? So am I. Izuku is more calm about talking to this brunette and, and says, oh really? Well, I can tell by the way you use your quirk, there's no doubt you're going to get in. Uraraka blushes from Izuku's kind words and says, Yeah, but you gotta admit, you're gonna get in way more easier with that dinosaur of yours. <laughs> Izuku smiles and says, Well, we'll find out when the time comes. <laughs> Uraraka looks into Izuku's eyes. Izuku looks into Uraraka's eyes and a moment of interruption, and the moment is interrupted by All Might. How's the train? How's the trash moving coming along, young Midoriya? All Might sees the young teenager sitting down and realizing that he just cockblock Izuku. Oops, says All Might. Uraraka is in wow because the number one hero is right in front of her. She then says, What? You didn't tell me you were training with All Might? That's awesome! A down Izuku, a down spirit Izuku says, Yeah, I know. After some time goes by, Uraraka leaves while yelling, Good luck, Izuku! I hope you get into UA! Izuku waves his hands in goodbye. All Might then says, Sorry, young Midoriya, I didn't mean to interrupt between two people in love. Izuku's face turns br even redder than usual, and, and then sit at, at All Might's words and says, What? No, we just, uh, uh, uh I, I mean... All Might then interrupts Izuku, saying, It's okay, young man. It's normal. It's normal to have these feelings, young Midoriya. Why, when I was your age, I... Iz Izuku, in his mind, is wondering what All Might... Is, is thinking about what All Might just said, and is thinking nothing of it, and continues where he left off. With the trash. After some time goes by, Izuku is at the beach, hiding behind a pile of trash, and he is going in and out of his full dinosaur form so that he grows so that he grows used to the sensation of his transformation. More time goes by, and the beach is all clean, a week to spare before the UA Endrix exams. Ooh, here comes the juicy part. All my then says, Great job, young Midoriya! You have successfully cleaned this entire beach with a week to spare. You truly have proven yourself worthy, but there's one more thing that I need to know. All Might then kneels down to Izuku's level and asks, Will you take my quirk? One for all. Izuku nearly forgotten about the deal All Might wanted to make him. All that time ago, Izuku looks at All Might and looks at the clean beach and says, All Might, I accept your offer. All Might then smiles wider and says, Very well, young Midoriya. All Might then pulls a hair from his head and says, Eat this! Izuku nearly forgetting that he had to eat All Might's DNA in order to inherit his power. Izuku then takes the hair and then eats it. Did you swallow it? <laughs> Good. It should kick in within about two to three hours. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to use it. All Might then uses a beaten up washing machine and says, Okay, just punch your butt cheeks and yell this from the depths of your heart. All Might then yells out loud, SMASH! as he punches the washing machine far, far away from them. Izuku is amazed and is already thinking of ways to use the power. Some time goes by and Izuku says, all right, it's been about three hours, All Might. Let's give it, let's give it a test run. All Might then says, wonderful. 
But before you do this, I want to give you a prime example before using one for all. All my that explains the egg and the microwave trick. Oh, okay, says Izuku. Izuku then uses a fridge as a start for one for all usage. Izuku thinks about it for a moment, and before he tries it to use one for all, of course, he thinks about the egg and the microwave thing. Izuku, in Izuku's mind, it doesn't sound like a good idea to just focus on one spot for, for one for all. I think I should just let it flow through my body and see what happens. Here goes. Izuku charges up all for one. His body is covered in purple to red to yellow lines and All Might is amazed because he already figured it out. Izuku then punches the fridge while yelling SMASH! He uh, minorly feels only a bit of pain in his hand, but it worked. Izuku then said, It worked! All Might then said with pride in his voice, Great job, young Midoriya! Izuku and All Might then high five, but Izuku by accident uses one for all on All Might. As they were doing the high five, All Might then being unprepared was fling 50 feet away. Oh, sorry All Might. It's okay, young Midoriya. That was awesome. They both give out laughing. After some time, All Might and Izuku go their separate ways for now and Izuku is going to meet up with Roger and Max in another part of the Queen Beach. More time goes by and they arrive. Max says, alright Izuku, there's nothing more we can teach you. You've learned all there is to know about your powers. Thanks, says Izuku. Roger then says, well, since our work here is done, I'm going to leave everything to you. But before we go, we need to warn you about someone. When the video of you changing into a dinosaur was out, uploaded onto the internet, I mean, there may, may be a chance, there may have been a chance that Dr. Velocity has seen you. Roger shows Velocity's goons to Izuku to, to help him identify them. When you see these guys, you need to run because they will try and capture you. But since you got your dinosaur form and that there's other superheroes out here, you may not need to. And if you have to, and if you have no other choice, you're gonna have to defend yourself if need be it. But don't worry, let them, but don't, but don't let them capture you. Is in Izuku's mind is on surveillance and begins to think about the next step He's thinking about his next step for for now, what he needs to, but right now he needs to focus on the matter at hand after the description of, Veloc of Dr. Velocity. After that, Max and Rogers go to the airport and to head home. They both say their goodbyes. We then skip to the day of the UA entrance exams. Izuku is nervous, even though all of his training and his new powers, he still felt a bit unbalanced about the fact that he's practically being bounty hunted and being experimented on. But for now, he needed to focus on his life's goal. He was heading inside only to be stopped by a voice he instantly recognized. It's Ochako. She runs up to Izuku and says, Hey, Izuku! The green-headed boy then smiles and said, Good morning, Ochako. After reaching Izuku, Uraraka then said, Today's the day. I hope you've been training a lot. Izuku then says, Yeah, I'm so ready. How about you? Asked Izuku. Yeah, I have been doing my best every day. They both walk in to the UA entrance. So Izuku does not fall like a cannon. Skip to present Mike's announcement. All of their, all there is to know about the one through three pointers. 
but he is interrupted by a blue-headed boy. This is Ida, by the way. Excuse me, sir, but I need to point out there, there are four robots on this sheet, and you said that there are only three. If this is a technical error, I am, I am sorely disappointed. We are exemplary students. We expect the best from Japan's most noble schools. A thing like this just won't do. While this is going on, Izuku and Uraraka are laughing. Ida says, And as for you two, if you're not going to take this, if you're not going to take any of this seriously, then you should just leave. You're distracting everyone. Uraraka is embarrassed, but Izuku stands up and says, Well, I'm sorry for laughing, but you're the one who interrupted President Mike, so you should just sit down and be quiet and let the man explain. Ida knows he's making a fool of himself and then sits down. President Mike then finishes the introduction about the Zero Pointer robot and how they need to avoid it at all costs. Time goes by and Izuku is at the entrance of the mock battle with, with, the, with the robots in it. Izuku is stretching, getting ready, getting ready for the exam to begin, but he spots Uraraka who is having trouble staying calm. He was about to go to calm her down when he felt a hand on his shoulder. He looks back and it's the same blue-headed boy from Fort. <clears throat> Excuse me. That girl looks like she's focusing on the ta task at hand. What are you going to do? Distract her? Ruin her chances to succeed? Izuku is annoyed by this man and he looks at him with, ang with anger in his eyes. Look dude, she's my friend and she's very nervous about this and she looks like she needs comforting. Now get your hands off of me. The boy then lets go of Izuku and he went to calm Uraraka down. They both are ready and Izuku is in his first form of his dino form with his talons out of his feet his claws and his bloodshot red eyes. The doors to the the doors to the battle open. Are you all ready? said President Mike. Izuku is the first one to run in while everyone is wondering why is he going when nobody said go? President Mike then said, What are you all waiting for? Ida then said what do you mean? You didn't even say go. That boy should be disqualified for not waiting on the mark. President Mike said, That's that boy already has ten points. There are no countdowns in a real battle. Now go, go, go! They all run, and Izuku is the first one to destroy a one-pointer, and then a two-pointer, and then three-pointer. After some time goes by, Izuku is feeling comfortable about his points. He goes around Seeing if anyone needs help, mm, really, yeah, go subscribe to him. He's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Goes around helping other others who, are, who may be having trouble. He comes across a purple-headed boy who is cornered by a three-pointer. This is Mineta, by the way. Izuku runs in. The robot is about to attack when Izuku stops the robot by grabbing, from hitting Mineta by grabbing its arm while holding while holding the robot at bay. Izuku then tells Mineta to go around and hit the button on the back of the robot to shut it off. Mineta then does this and says, Thank you. No problem, says Izuku. Izuku then goes around and sees Uraraka destroying robots left from right by having them fall from a high distance with their floating abilities. Izuku then says, Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Uraraka. Good job. Uraraka then gives Izuku a thumbs up. Izuku sees everyone is doing great when all of a sudden the ground starts to shake. The zero pointer robot emerges from around the corner. It smashes a building and everyone runs away from it. Izuku is about to do the same when he hears someone screaming for help. Help! Somebody help me! Uraraka is stuck under some rubble from the building that the robot smashed. Izuku runs back towards or towards the zero pointer and he uses one for all in his legs to eject himself to the face of the robot and 
and as he was halfway there, Izuku begins to turn into his full dinosaur form. Izuku had a flashback to what All Might said. Clench your butt cheeks and yell this from the depths of your heart. Izuku, now in his full dino dinosaur form of his Tyrannosaurus Rex form, if I may verify, then swings around, putting all for one into his tail while yelling, SMASH! Yo, Izuku knocks the robot's head clean off with, with his powerful Tyrannosaurus Rex tail with one for all added. Izuku, far from the ground, has no problem landing safely as, as he lands on top of the robot, giving out a large Tyrannosaurus Rex roar. <laughs> Everyone is flabbergasted by Izuku's, by Izuku's dinosaur transformation, and the number, and the number that he did on the zero pointer. Izuku, still in his full dino mode, walks up to Uraraka and gets the rubble off of her. And being as gentle as he can, he picks her up with his teeth. Other students are thinking he's about to eat her. Instead. He brought her to the main entrance to, out of the fake city to take, so that she could be taken to Recovery Woman. Uraraka is amazed by Izuku's dino form as she was put on the gurney to be taken to recover to get recovered. Uraraka then reached up to touch to touch Izuku's snout and says, "Thank you." then gets taken away. Izuku then runs back into the fake city and he comes across a clothing store. Izuku looks around before he changes back into a man to make sure no one sees him is back and then runs into the fake store with real clothes. Izuku then walks out wearing wearing black t-shirts, wearing a black t-shirt and white shorts. Over the mic, you can hear, time's up. If you haven't racked up any points, well, that's just tough. Good luck next time, everybody. Izuku then exits and heads home. He is, wel he is welcomed by his, he is welcomed by his mother. Welcome home, son. So, how did you do? Izuku, Izuku then says, I think I did pretty good. I saved, I saved a couple of a couple of people, and it felt great. That's wonderful, son. About two weeks later pass, and Izuku is keeping up with his training. A few minutes later, Inko knocks on the door, and Izuku opens the door. Inko, with excitement in her voice, says, "Izuku, it's here. Your letter from Yue." Izuku then opens the a holographic projector. He lays it down and wonders how to turn it on. After a few seconds of frustration, he slams the projector down on the table. Inko then says, Be careful, Izuku. You don't want to break it. I I'm sorry. I just don't know how to turn this thing on. He is interrupted by a projection of All Might on it. I am here on a projection. Congratulations, young Midoriya. You have managed to earn 37 villain points. Izuku is overflowing with happiness, but he is interrupted by All Might once more saying, There are other sorts of points that you have earned when you saved that girl and boy from those robots. You've earned what is called rescue points. 60 points for rescuing the girl and about 40 points for rescuing the boy. Great job, young Midoriya. Your score was a whopping 137. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to UA. You are truly, you have truly earned this. Izuku is starting to cry from this. After all of his hard work, he's made it. And Inko hugs him, telling him, I'm so proud of you, son. And that's the end of part four. <sighs> Kind of short if you ask me. I think I could do better than that. Well, to anyone who made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. 
and I uh, hope you have a nice day and consider yourselves hashtag blessed.